manage to do a 180 Taekwondo kick in midair? Just look at the pundit's reaction. Wow. Ibra scores! That is number 500! With five seconds to go, Andre Dummin decided to steal the show. Look how far away that is. He had his eyes on the Keep an eye on the puck. What? Can someone explain to me how Zlatan managed to do a 180 Taekwondo kick in midair? Just look at the pundit's reaction. I mean, that is just so Ebro scores! That is number 200! First left on Ibrahimovic! With five seconds to go, Andre Dummond decided to steal the show. Look how far away that is. He had his eyes on the prize and let it... Yeah, that's just weird. Another thing that is weird is this goal. Keep an eye on the puck. take one of these. Look at the way it bounces. Have you ever seen a weirder goal than that? I mean, that is just some Jedi Force tricks right there. But not even a Jedi would be able to do what Zlatan did against England in 2012. Quite done so. Ibrahimovic! Shooting on! I mean, that is just unbelievable. Like, yeah, sure, we've seen bicycle kicks in football before, but not 30 yards out. Just listen to the reaction of Swedish commentators. Jeez, take one of these. I mean, it's Zlatan. What did you expect? Why is they don't compare themselves with humans? Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, he doesn't only hold the record as Speaking of inhuman, have you seen this catch from Odell Beckman Jr.? Some consider this to be the greatest catch in NFL history. And you can't really blame them. And Manning's going to heat one. Is, oh, there's a flag. Beckham has a one-handed catch. I don't think he stepped out either. That may be the greatest catch I've ever seen. And that is why OBJ has over 15 million followers on Instagram. Now, that might seem like a lot, but there's one athlete that holds the record of being the most followed individual on the internet. True. Yeah, you guessed it. I'm talking about the Sue guy. <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, he doesn't only hold the record of being the most followed, but he also holds the record for the highest vertical jump in football history. In a game versus Manchester United, he scored a goal by heading the ball 9.1 feet off the ground. Look, even Ronaldo's knee is at the same height as the defender's head. Sadly, though, he refused to celebrate the goal as it was against his old club Manchester United. I mean, we're all hoping for the classic C. So, Ronaldo, what did you make of our impression of your celebration? Now that was one. While we're on the topic of vertical jumps, why not move to the NBA and take a look at this superhuman dunk by Derek Jones? What the? Did you see that? He literally made every single jaw in the stadium drop. These vertical jumps are nothing but impressive, but what if I told you there's an NFL player that pulled a front flip over an opponent to land a touchdown? Yeah, that's right. Jerome Simpson did the impossible. Now that was one humiliating move. And so was this play by Lionel Messi. Except instead of just one opponent, he humiliated a whole team. To start things off, his teammate comes up with some incredible moves. Then Messi gets the ball. And you would think that one nutmeg was enough, but nah, think again. Then shortly after, one, two, three defenders gone. And then he leaves it on a plate for his teammate to score an easy goal. By the way, we found this sick camera angle recorded by a fan.
I don't think there's anyone who could watch that without being completely blown away. Except Connor McDavid. Having trouble changing here. McDavid, beautiful move. Wait, 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 wait. We need to play that with some disco music. Uh, DJ? Very cool. Now try doing that in American football. Okay. just covered 95 yards like it was nothing. Sometimes you only need one player. In this next one, however, Spanish team Las Palmas produced some of the most beautiful teamwork you've ever seen. This back heel alone is worth making a compilation reel. Combine that with this beautiful acrobatic finish, and you have one special goal. It doesn't get much more skillful than that one. Now compare that to this Westbrook dunk that was just pure luck. Oh, and it goes in! <laughs> Westbrook with a big smile. <laughs> what are the odds for that even happening? I don't know what kind of sorcery he's using or if it was a glitch in the Matrix, because that's simply not supposed to happen. While that was weird, this NHL goal is even stranger. Watch how the puck gets stuck in the goalie's pants. He takes a shot. Rebound! He's up in the Due to some crazy wind, this game was almost unplayable. Thanks to the weather conditions, though, this guy managed to score one of the craziest goals of all time. He's it! Goes all the way in! The wind of change has blown through Hewish Park. The weather conditions here. Just a hopeful in-swinging ball, and it just rides on the wind. Wind assisted. Let's go! This guy will probably go down as one of the most savage football players of all time. In a World Cup penalty shootout, he decided to play without his goalkeeper gloves. And Ricardo makes the save. Ricardo makes the save from But that's not everything. He then went on to score the deciding penalty shot himself, securing a place in the World Cup final. Talk about clutch player. Now for what might very well be the weirdest goal in sports history. I saw it in a video because I wanted to see if a goal like that would count. The referee is very much part of the game, and that goal would count. I've never seen this. Hey!